After testing the Pro model of the iPhone 15 series, let's move to the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. Starting with the iPhone 15, this is the cheapest phone of the iPhone 15 series. It is inferior to the Pro model in many aspects. But what about its charging speed? Let's check it out. This is the included USB-C cable, just like the one we found on iPhone 15 Pro. It adopts a woven design instead of TPE, which makes it more durable than before. The connector does not adopt a full pin design. ChargeLab Power ZKM003C shows it does not have an A-marker chip. It means this cable can only support USB 2.0 and up to 3M. The back of the phone is made of frosted glass, and the one we got is green. Unlike the Pro model, the mute button still exists. We can even see a serial number engraved inside the USB-C port. Next, let's get to the test, starting with the compatibility part. Like the iPhone 15 Pro, the charging power is around 20 watts. Even if we open the camera, the peak power can only reach around 25 watts. We tested almost all Apple original chargers. Even the Apple 29 watts charger cannot trigger the 14.5 volts. As for some third-party chargers, power banks, and power stations, the iPhone 15 can be compatible with all devices. And the charging power is very stable at around 20 watts. So even though it is cheaper, the charging performance is the same as the iPhone 15 Pro. As for USB-A chargers, since they do not support PD, most chargers can only charge iPhone 15 at 5 watts. In terms of reverse charging, the iPhone 15 can charge other phones, tablets, headphones, watches, and even game consoles. However, the Apple power is limited to 5 watts. Another interesting fact is that if we connect two iPhones using a dual USB-C cable, then the phone with higher battery will charge the one with lower battery. Although the iPhone 15 supports the latest G2 standard, which can support up to 50 watts, like the MagSafe charger, but there are currently no wireless chargers available that do support G2. And the iPhone 15 has introduced an 80% limit charging option, similar to the 15 Pro. Next, we'll use the Apple 35W traditional charger to fully charge the iPhone 15. The voltage is around 9 volts at first, and the charging curve can be divided into 5 parts. In the first part, the peak power stays around 21 watts for the first 20 minutes, then the power gradually drops to 60 watts, 11 watts, and 6.5 watts in turn. Meanwhile, the voltage dropped to 5 volts at 47 minutes, the final part begins at 1 hour and 4 minutes, and the power slowly drops to almost zero. It takes 1 hour and 35 minutes to be fully charged. We also turn it into another curve. The 35 watts charger can charge the iPhone 15 to 50% in 24 minutes, and it can reach 80% in 49 minutes, 100% in 1 hour and 35 minutes. This is similar to the iPhone 14. We also put the iPhone 15 into a 25 degrees Celsius thermal tank throughout the test, and recorded the highest temperatures on the front and back at three different time points. After 10 minutes of charging, the highest temperature on the front is 32.8 degrees Celsius, the back temperature is higher at 34.4 degrees Celsius. After 30 minutes, the highest temperature on the front increased to 35.8 degrees Celsius, the back is 36.9 degrees Celsius. Just like the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, after 60 minutes, the highest temperature on the front dropped to 29.3 degrees Celsius. The back is 29.2 degrees Celsius. As we can see, the highest temperature is about 36.9 degrees Celsius, which won't exceed your body temperature. After switching to trigger charging mode, the temperature will drop under 30 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all for today's tests. The iPhone 15 has made great improvements in all aspects compared to the iPhone 14, but there is no improvement in charging. Nevertheless, it has some advantages, including good charging compatibility and lower heat generation during charging. Additionally, the USB-C port offers compatibility with various accessories, and potential enhancements in charging power for future models. Ok, that's all for today's video. You can also click the corners to check the reviews of other models. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you next time. Bye!